Morning guys, Buckskin Dave here. Coffee's hot, go over and get you a cup. Oh, good. Uh, we got the number five action. I'm gonna see if I can say number five instead of number nine <clears throat> for the rest of this video. Anyway, this action came with a, uh, this is a seven miles a barrel, I would estimate what it looks like <clears throat> and it's trash so that's got to come off of there and it appears to me the thing about buying these used actions no matter how uh, new model it is and I don't know when this one was made looks like it's got 1933 printed on it and that may be the year it was made anyway this one look feels to me like See, that is a good click for half cock. Not much for full cock. It appears to me that somebody made the trigger lighter, which is fine. But in making it lighter, I'm not sure if it's done correctly. So we're going to take it apart because the first thing I got to do is take this barrel off and you have to take the internal parts out to unscrew the barrel. So let's start there. You want to try to get the right screwdriver for each screw. That keeps from damaging them. And that's one thing about this action that I have noticed so far is screws aren't damaged that much. So you take that little side plate off like I just did here. And then these pins should come out. There's the first one. There, this is a, these actions are extremely easy to uh, take down. And use some wood. This one has a little pressure on, probably because of the mainspring. So we got that one off. That there. And so... Take the trigger assembly off. Next. You can take the trigger assembly off first too. Doesn't matter. Now this one, what's really irritating, these are also very tight and they all are. Don't even try to make it looser. Now what's interesting is, remember in the last video we said that my other numbered five uh, my other number five action had more of this shape of a this number five action has the same shape as the number one so these things are <laughs> I think they were put together with what was on hand so they're not all exactly the same so anyway that's off and we just got to take these remember now I think I think these came out number five action has a screw a third screw and apparently it also um, is some sort of a stop for this uh, for this rotary cartridge extractor anyway that's out the uh, hammer comes out hammer comes out the top uh, the block comes out 
for correction. The hammer comes out the bottom, block comes out the top. Okay, so now if we look in here, should be able to get this baby up. I don't, normally I will put this in my barrel vise. If you're not prepared to use these extreme, horribly offensive to somebody who might own the gun, forced, don't let anybody watch. I had to beat this thing. Uh, penetrating oil, beat it. Like I say, I didn't care about this barrel so much. The only thing I really wanted out of this barrel was, and I may cut it off, the only thing I really wanted out of this barrel was this stub so that I can use it for measurements. So I didn't care about all this. And uh, I mean, this thing really, I had in this vice something horrible and when it went, it went pow! So we got it out and yeah, we bent that a little bit. That's the problem, but it's it'll be okay. We can get it to work. Anyway, the vice bed is bent these in a little. All I had to do is put something like this in there, and very lightly, because you don't want to mar this up any more than you have to. Hit it with the hammer, and that opens it up to where everything fits. Just right in there now. So. This thing's ready to start to work with. It's got some Mars on it and some chisels. Somebody else tried to take this barrel off before I did. It was nicked up a little here. Um, and I nicked it up quite a bit more. And there's some nicks in here. I don't think it came from me because I had this in there really, really tight. And it didn't move. But So I'm going to clean them up right now with a file. i got to take this finish the surface down because on this one I'm going to take the case coloring off and I might redo it so anyway we earned our coffee this morning <laughs> I've taken some rough ones apart that one really wasn't so bad they will fight you up to a point and then all of a sudden they'll break free it's really weird I had a I had a three foot cheater on pipe wrench had it clamped in here and <laughs> my table was doing this because it's just a wooden table and and uh, I was beating on it with a sledge and then it just popped out of nowhere it's like they give up um, but I've had people come to me and I've got a vise for a barrel so I don't damage the barrel and, and then if, if you have an action wrench I don't have an action wrench for this and I don't know I probably could make one but uh, it's a flat action, so if you have a flat vise, you can put it in there and, and use that. And, uh, you know, it popped okay. So, but if you have all that, I have people come and they're like, I'm like, no, you ain't watching. You come on back later, because I you got to beat the shit out of them. So, anyway, we earned our coffee. Thanks for joining me. I got a workout on this one. I'm going to get me another cup of coffee. I think I earned it. And uh, we'll see you next time. We're going to continue working. I'm giving the uh, other Gimmer, the number one action, a break. So um, the next time you see us, we're going to be back on that. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you coming and having a cup of coffee. Bye-bye now.